All right, so here we have the Vizio E70 E3 70 inch 4K display. There is no TV tuner, so it's not really a television. Uh, the reason that I'm making this video is because I have made a discovery um, after purchasing this television for a very good deal. I also possess a Samsung 64 inch F8500 which is basically the best plasma television in the world. Or the best TV in the world really. So the discovery that I have made is that this television, which is the E series, above which I believe Vizio has at least two other models, uh, the M and the P. Uh, the M and the P have received the HDR10 update from Vizio. The E series has basically been advertised to not uh, have the ability to receive the HDR update or it's not going to receive the HDR update and it's been heavily advertised as such so I noticed on the store demo, which I can't pull up because I'm using my phone to record, I'll show a screenshot of that. The store demo of this television would suggest that it actually is HDR compatible. And also, when I put in Uh, the Flight of the Butterflies, uh, which let's see, I have over here. Which has a choice of SDR, R, or HDR. Uh, they look different and it actually looked better. So I was thinking that maybe the television was capable of HDR. So I called Vizio and told them that the store demo suggested that it would be. And of course they said that that was, that was totally impossible. So the guy at Vizio said that uh, this television certainly would not receive the HDR10 update. Well, uh, after we talked for a little bit, he said he needed to call the firmware department because he was feeling confused. And so... After he something looks different to me about that screen. Hey, maybe I don't know, maybe it's because HDR is on. So anyway, he came back and told me that the firmware guy told him that they were going to update the television. And of course getting HDR and 4K and everything set up is kind of a it's kind of a pain in the butt. If you do it wrong, you're not going to be watching what you think you're going to be watching. And my system, my receiver is the downfall, so I have to have my Xbox One S running directly to my television. So now we're going to look at the video output. We've got it set to 4K. I don't know if you can see that. 
Yeah, it's hard to see. But we're set to 4K there. So we're going to look at advanced video settings. This is on the Xbox. And 4K TV details. Now what you'll notice here is that my E70 E3 is equipped for HDR other than the fact that it is not equipped to do 4K at 50 Hertz. It's equipped for everything else. So once again, this is the television that is advertised to not do 4K. Now something looks different about the the screen for some reason here and maybe that's because 4k is or HDR is on since my telephone is the controls the television I can't exactly show you the settings but if you look in Vizio Smartcast Yeah, what's interesting there is how blown out looking that is now. Huh, so, yeah, obviously something has happened because that's just as bright looking to me as it is uh, on my video here. Um, something, all right, I've probably gone in there and monkeyed with the settings after it has popped over to HDR. So I'm gonna have to adjust that and then come back. Every spring, monarch butterflies arrive here in the Texas Hill Country.